50s, and it's keeping that hometown feel. There's something special about places that stand the test of time. This is my most favorite restaurant. We had the opportunity to, because we had an empty building, and we wanted to put something back into this little Washington Square area here. An old-fashioned milkshake tastes just as good in 2020 as it did when the soda fountain at PAFS opened in the 1950s. I could always use some extra. The east end of Grand Haven is kind of the forgotten side a little bit. Dwayne Bloomers knows that better than anyone. I started here in 1964 as a stock boy in, in high school. Back then, it was a pharmacy. And after becoming a pharmacist himself. And then I bought the store from Cliff Path in 1980, and I owned it for 33 years. Keeping the original name going. I kept his name on here all these years. It was very important to me. He was my mentor. Until a new pharmacy moved in a few years ago. They closed up shop. And for the last year or so, Paths has sat empty. We wanted to make sure that we got something again that had a voice for the community and a place to meet, come and enjoy themselves, laughter, smiling. Until last week, the health department finally approved Paths Corner to open back up for business. They've got a pretty good team running the place. I worked here since I was like way young. Alicia Morrow is store manager. So was her mom all those years ago. Well, my mom did what I did growing up, um, managed the store, and now like I'm managing it and have my own little peanut too. So, Her son Harrison will grow up in the store the same way she did. I've worked other places and they're all great too, but there's nothing like this. With the same values, the people here are trying to make sure stand the test of time. A lot of what customers have said too is they were like, oh, I was so sad when this place closed and I'm just so glad it's back in the community. And I just, I just really hope that people continue to come here so that we can provide this service that you don't get everywhere. Paths Corner is open almost every day from 7 to 7, and they've got a really cool memory wall in there, too. One person who was in the store when we were there today said he can remember coming there for coffee in the late 50s. So a lot of history here. They want to keep those memories alive. Live in studio tonight, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News. All right, Julie, great story. And all the ice cream, the shakes looked go. really delicious. Yeah, even this so time of year. That. Yeah. yeah.